uh, from my childhood. Uh, I was, I have been always good boy. When I became a teenager, I didn't like to be a good boy. <laughs> to be a good boy, I think it's a difficult task. <laughs> to be a good boy means I un try to understand what the uh, uh, people around me expect from me. And, and I try to do the way they expect from me. So I felt that is not so honest way of life. First, I think other people's mind, and I try to follow their expectation. When I became a teenager and uh, started to practice Zen, I felt I stopped uh, being a good boy. I kind of uh, betray all the expectation from my parents and teachers and soci Japanese society. So I felt I became a bad boy. But when I became 30, I found I was still a uh, good boy. I wanted to be a good practitioner. I wanted to be a good uh, disciple of my teacher. Or uh, I wanted to be better practitioner than others. I found uh, it's not on, it's not simply a Buddhist problem, Buddhist problem, <laughs> but it's my psychological problem. That means when my body was broken and I couldn't practice, when, uh, I did in my 20s. So I couldn't be a good boy uh, of my parents and I couldn't be a good boy as a Buddhist priest. That's why, uh, you know, I felt uh, my life was really good for nothing. <laughs> and so that was a kind of uh, very shocking to me. And uh, I was in the process of dealing with this for a few months. And uh, at that time I live in a small apartment by myself, so there's no sangha and I, had, I didn't need to any practice as a priest. Mm. I, I was just me. Uh, one day I found myself sitting alone, not as a practitioner within the Sangha, or not as a Buddhist priest, in a kind of a uh, social occupation. Mm. <laughs> I really sat myself and I found a deep peace there. That means I don't need to be a good boy. I can be just sit. And I found that is really a uh, zazen that is good for nothing. But before that, I, I intellectually understood mm -hmm. uh, zazen is good for nothing as a Buddhist philosophy. <laughs> but, still, be, but because of that, I felt my life is okay, yes, yes. meaningful. When I couldn't continue in that way, I felt my <laughs> life is not valuable. Mm -hmm. But I found that is the ground we need to practice with that desire to be a good boy in not only in the secular mundane way but even as a buddhist i became free from my desire to be a good buddhist <laughs> finally i i think first time i found the real meaning of uh, that is good for nothing or practice without expectation or gaining mind so just be there with this body and mind.